Hi everybody, welcome to Mydale Library. Do you want to know how to turn this plain old t-shirt into this? Come on, I'll show you. So all you need to make this t-shirt tote bag is a t-shirt. Um, if it's your favorite t-shirt that doesn't fit anymore, that's perfect. Or a t-shirt with holes in the armpits, great. Um, we're going to cut those off anyways. And a pair of scissors. Um, I started to cut this sleeve off and realized my scissors weren't nearly as sharp as I had hoped they were because I use them for crafting quite a bit. So I'm going to show you guys a neat trick on how to sharpen your scissors. All you need is tin foil, um, something you probably have in your house already. And then you're just going to fold it over a few times to make it fairly thick. And then you just want to cut through it with the entire length of your scissors. Go quite a few times and this will help to sharpen your scissors. Let's see how this works here. Just want to cut through it, keep cutting through the tin foil, and let's check and see if my scissors are sharp. And we're just going to cut the sleeve off about an inch. I got to go closer to this inside here to sharpen that. The inside's not very sharp. There, let's see if that worked. Perfect. And you just want to cut about an inch inside the sleeve. Just like that. And you can save these for embellishments for later as well. If you want to say um, tie a little tie at the shoulder, that's perfect. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay. The sleeves are off, now we're going to cut the neck. And I'm just going to come from the inside of the seam here, and I'm just going to cut down um, just to the logo. I don't want to cut the logo off. I'm going to come to you there. And just come down, making sure that I don't cut into the logo. Okay, we have the sleeves and neck cut out, so we have the handles to our tote bag. Now it's time to do the bottom part. Um, you wanna make sure your bottom is lined up as best you can, and you wanna cut about one inch strips, about four inches up. The first one that we're gonna do though is gonna be just the inside, because you wanna go up the, the side so that your first strip will be two strips instead of one fat strip. And up the side, making about one inch strips. And you want to do this all the way along the bottom of the t-shirt. So now that we've got all our tassels cut, we need to tie them together. So you're going to tie each pair together. That means tie the top and bottom of each tassel to itself, top and bottom, all the way across the whole bottom of the t-shirt. So now that we've got our first set of tassels tied, we want to go ahead and make sure that there aren't any gaps in between the tassels. So you want to tie the tassel um, from the first pair to the second pair, and then you want to tie the second pair to each one in the first pair and one in the third pair to fill in all those gaps. And I forgot to mention, if you don't want these tassels on your bag, that's okay. Before you start tying, flip your bag inside out and then tie it, and then once you're done, you can flip it back right side out, and your tassels will be on the inside, so you won't see them anymore. But I wanted the tassels on the outside, so I'm gonna leave them, the t-shirt, on the right side out. Now, once you've made sure that all of the gaps are closed and all of your knots are tight, you are good to go. And just like that, it's done. And like I said, if you don't like the tassels on the bottom, all you have to do is flip your t-shirt inside out for a different look. 
Now all you need is to pack your books in your bag and head off to the library. I'll see you soon.